So um, I decided that um, I have a very unique talent, and it's it's incredible. Most people can't do it, and it's uh, it is whistling. Um, <laughs> I literally am probably the best whistler I've ever heard, and I wanted to just show you guys for ten minutes how to whistle with a bravado. Um, <laughs> so I'll start off with um, just a little song that goes like. Okay, I was just kidding. That's not my. I'm not gonna do it on this league. But that'd be awesome, don't you think? That'd be so awesome. Yeah. Actually, um, my presentation is on um, my kind and your kind because as I thought about this class, I'm the only man here. So yes. I thought, why don't I point out some differences between us? So I would like to start with uh, my kind came first. Um, Oh, we, we, we came first, and oh, we were sitting, and it seemed like we were pretty happy, but uh, Heavenly Father decided that it wasn't good for us to be alone. And so, um, into the world comes your kind. But one of the interesting things that I always saw was that your kind would not exist without us, because your kind came from my kind. I'd like to read a, uh, a part real quick from Scripture. Uh, from Genesis chapter 2. Uh, for Adam there was not found a help made for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. <clears throat> and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. Flesh She shall be called woman. So I just wanted to point out to you guys that, I mean, without us, you wouldn't exist. So... My kind is kind of special that way. Um, now the reverse of that is interesting as well, because without your kind, my kind also wouldn't exist. Because there comes to a point where my kind and your kind are giving, they're given conflicting commandments. And my kind is, I mean, we're really focused here. Like, you know, we're men. So like my kind, the first of, he was like, I'm going to figure out a way to do this. I'm going to figure out a way to do both things. And and I'm just going to think about it. I'm going to be loyal to the Lord. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And and I went on, and our kind just goes on. And we just keep, keep trying and trying and trying. But what happens is your kind actually figured it out. Your kind was the first one to go, you can't do both. You literally have to make a sacrifice. And so it was that your kind understood in order for all of our kind to exist, um, that you had to do one or the other. And thank goodness for your kind, because you explained it to our kind, and it worked out, if that makes sense. Um, and then as I started thinking about how we progressed through life, um, and how both of us, our kinds, you know, we needed each other to exist, um, I started thinking about the interesting ways that we come into the world. Um, my kind were kind of a little bit harder we're a little bit rough around the edges um, when we see our kids. Uh, we obviously love them, but it's a little bit different. We we tell them to get up, you know, when they fall down. Uh, if they're bleeding, we're like, that's war paint. You know, we say things <laughs> like that. But your kind has a special bond with a child. And as where my kind can put our hands on the tummy and we can feel the baby, and that's something really special, um, something that I'll personally never forget. Um, your kind actually literally it has a bond with a child, a life that grows inside of you. And that's something my kind I don't think could ever understand. You can't read books about it. Um, you can't look at a mother and understand it. I think it's only something that your kind understands. I think it was supposed to be like that. And I think that Heavenly Father planned it like that so that um, my kind and your kind would always have a bond with someone in this world. So... <clears throat> Um, I wanted to read a quick quote. It says, um, When the real history of mankind is fully disclosed, will it feature the echoes of gunfire or the shaping sounds of lullabies? Mm -hmm. The great armistice made by military men or the peacemaking of women in homes and in neighborhoods? Will what happened in cradles and kitchens prove to be more controlling than what happened in congresses? Um, that's by Neil A. Maxwell. And I was just thinking about that today as I thought about the differences between men and women and how important it is that we do have differences because without those differences, um, literally, 
if men raised children by ourselves, it would be such a hard society. Um, there would be no, there would be no tenderness or nurturing. Um, and thank goodness for my wife's kind because she reminds me that sometimes I need to be a little gentler, softer, <laughs> that I shouldn't kick my daughters or pull their hair or wrestle with them. And so I'm very, very uh, grateful for that. Sometimes um, our kind conflicts. Um, we get angry at each other and our differences. And I know there's all types of personalities, but uh, men and women can often butt heads in relationships. Um, and I know that it can be hard for both kinds um, to see the other side of things. And I got a quote here, another one by Neil A. Maxwell that I wanted to share with you guys. So that hopefully next time, maybe if you guys had a, a, an indifference with your husband or somebody of my kind, a brother or, or a father, um, it says, empathy during agony is a portion of divinity. And that's such a deep quote, but it really, it teaches us that if we have patience in these hard relationships and conversations and sometimes in our disagreements, if we seek to look at the other person's side of things, we might really understand what Heavenly Father is trying to uh, teach us here. And I wanted to close with a, a quote from President Hinckley in one of his talks. In his grand design, when God first created man, he created a duality of the sexes. The ennobling expression of that duality is found in marriage. One individual is complementary to the other. As Paul stated, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man and the Lord. There is no arrangement that meets the divine purpose of the Almighty. There is no other arrangement that meets the divine purposes of the Almighty. Men and women are his creations. Their duality is his design. Their complementary relationships and functions are fundamental to his purposes. One is incomplete without the other. So as I started this um, journey to point out the differences, um, I am just so grateful for them because without the indifferences, we truly couldn't progress as individuals. And it is what Heavenly Father intended us to be. And so I just wanted to close with how much I appreciate your kind and all that you've done for me. And, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Weird, you gotta close it. You like, will. Yes. Good. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, do you want me to whistle? No, <laughs> yeah.